Hello everyone. I'd like to share something with you today. Uh, you remember when I went through uh, the storm and the Holy Spirit told me to pull back from the internet. Now I've been uh, set free from the Holy Spirit to go ahead and reveal uh, some things to you that happened to me in this storm that I did not reveal to you. The Holy Spirit was showing me that I was addicted to this computer. And that's the truth, church. I was on this, this computer 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. I wasn't going to God as I was before in love uh, to receive that word from Him. I was only going to the word of God to get those videos out to you so you could see the teachings and the warnings. And when the Holy Spirit told me to pull back from this internet and I shut the internet down, church, I went through the worst torment of my life. That computer was calling me. Woo! I told uh, Preston, I said, I am addicted, Preston. I said in here, uh, I tell people my testimony. I'm not addicted to drugs and I'm not addicted to drinking and I praise God that I don't, I really, there's not a lot of sin that I had to win victory over because there's not a lot of things I did. And then I found out what addiction was and I was hooked onto this computer. And I told Preston, I said, Preston, the Holy Spirit was showing me that this computer is the mark of the beast. And Preston said it truly is because this computer, they know everything about you. The government, everyone around the world, there's not nothing about you. And the devil wants that. The devil wants to draw you in. And he wants you to spend all of your life on technology, uh, watching a, a video, uh, making videos. So you don't go out and do what God has called you to do. To go out and have that fellowship with other Christians face to face. To have that personal relationship. Because the enemy wants everyone to stay in their homes be that way you're no threat to the enemy because this alien technology church is beyond i have seen things and visions that's beyond things that we only imagined i've seen technology to where cars people are flying in space that they're no longer driving cars on the ground like normal like we do now that technology is moving beyond anything that you and i know and that enemy wants you on this technology because you no longer go out and live your life. And before, not now church, before, I wasn't even fellowshipping with my family. I didn't have time for my children or my husband. My husband was doing all of the work around the house because I was on this computer 24 hours a day and 7 days a week. And I try to justify it by saying, well, I'm doing the Lord's work. You know, I'm preaching the gospel and that's what the Lord wants me to do. And it wasn't church because God was telling me that I was addicted to this computer. And I'm telling you, God is a jealous God and he will not share you with anything that takes up more of your time than the time that you should be with him and with other people. Having that fellowship that God wants each and every one of us to have. Well, you see, that technology, and and even again, the Holy Spirit has yet been warning me, gonna pull back. You see me out here making all these videos because, you know, God's been giving me revelation knowledge and been giving me warnings. And, and I don't think I don't want to come out here and tell you. And I've been having to deal with the flesh to keep from telling you the warnings that he's given to me that I'm not supposed to give to the world. But you see, church, I'm here today to tell you, don't spend so much time on this computer. And I truly, truly don't know how much longer that I will be out here because of this technology. This enemy is using this technology to keep each and every one of us. And this technology is demonic. I'm not kidding you. It is demonic. It is something the devil is using that keeps all of us out here in the world. And Big Brother watches everything, sees everything, and knows everything. There's not nothing private out here, church. You leave those comments and you think your things are private and they're not. And the Holy Spirit is showing me the new technology of you becoming the computer. You know how you look at the computer? 
that computer is going to become one with you. It's going to, you're going to see what the computer sees. You're going to be inside of the computer and the computer is going to be inside of you. A living computer. Because virtual reality. And we know that that enemy's coming and that's what the Bible tells us about those strong delusions. Those delu that's what the beast is going to use to work. You don't have to talk to people in person anymore. They're going to be able to appear before you. Their image is going to literally be able to appear before you and talk to you. And you're going to be able to talk to them. It's all going to be about using the mind. And God says the mind is the enemy of God. This fleshly mind is the enemy of God. But the devil is using this technology to draw all of us in. Church, whenever I went through the storm, I was so tempted by this computer. I had to give my computer to my daughter so she could take it to her house. And I cried every day because I didn't have the computer. And I told Preston, pray for me, Preston. Pray for me. I'm in a battle with my flesh because my flesh desires this computer. But I have won the victory over at church because I've come back to my fellowship and my walk with God every day as I used to. And I have not made no warning videos and I've been obedient to God. But I'm telling you, church, don't allow. And I'm telling you, what is coming, I have seen that they're going to start saying that the pro those that are giving these warnings, that you're dangerous. They're going to be watching people that can lead thousands of people because you're dangerous. They're going to say that even the warnings cause the people to have fear and to cause the people to rise up in violence, that they're even now saying that the violence and the uprising that's happened to Egypt is because of the, the computer, the internet. The Holy Spirit said the day is coming. It's not going to be even good to say that you hear from God. Everybody says they, they pray to God. But what's dangerous is they're going to say those that hear from God. You're the ones that's dangerous. And that's the ones the enemy is going after. I'm telling you, church, we are moving fast, very fast into this new technology that's coming. And this new technology is the top of the mark of the beast. Because the devil wants us to be one with technology. Wants us to be one with this computer. I'm telling you, church, if you could see the vision that I saw, that you going inside, of that you're the computer, that you're no longer sitting outside, not a part of it. You're inside of it. You're seeing things from the inside of the computer, virtual reality. They're pulling you in. And, and we are becoming addicted to it. We're becoming obsessed with it. It is taking more of our time away from our family, away from God. And uh, so I'm out here to say, church, I'm not removing my videos. The Holy Spirit has not asked me to do that because he knows i got to preach this gospel. And I'm going to preach this gospel. But I've made enough of videos and I'm going to pull back for a couple of days uh, from making videos because I want the enemy to see I'm not addicted to nothing but God. I am the I, I serve God and I serve a mighty God and I do not serve this computer nor the beast. And I had to come out here today to share with each and every one of you. If you see me pulling back, church, and not making very many videos, I want you to know why. Because I have a work outside of this computer to do. That I want to, I wish I could fellowship with each and every one of you face to face that I didn't have to fellowship with you on this computer. But unfortunately, we're not able to do that because everyone lives different places and around the world. And I'm going out into the world to preach this gospel. Now, the Holy Spirit ain't told me to remove my videos, but to watch my time that I spend on this computer, and I will. But I want you to know, church. That vision, I saw that technology of you being the computer, a living computer, virtual reality, yeah. illusions, being a part of it. You're in the computer. 
You are the computer. You know that chip, that mark that devil's going to put upon you makes you part of that banking system, makes you part of that computer. And you know what the Holy Spirit told me? He said, they're not going to make you put that mark on you. They're not going to force you. You either take the mark or you don't live. You can't buy, you can't sell, you can't do anything. It is your choice. But when the beast gets here, he's going to be killing people, cutting their heads off because they refuse to take that mark and they refuse to worship him. Become one with him because it is an alliance with him. Being one with the beast. And they're drawing us all in little by little through alien technology. Well, God bless you, my dear precious friends. And I love each and every one of you. And don't be afraid. I'm not going to leave you, church. I'm still going to be here. But I'm going to show God that I am going to pull away from making so many videos. And uh, But uh, I will make videos uh, in a few days. But I want that enemy to show. He doesn't see that he doesn't have Donna. Amen, church. He doesn't have control over us. We have the control. Amen. God bless you, my dear precious friends. God bless you.